I've heard this story with Peter walking on the water so many times. Like, what is something new I can get out of these scriptures, these chapters, that is a new insight? Um, so the thing that stood out to us, and it was kind of like a simple thing of more like, what does that really mean? And then we just kind of deep dived into it. But <laughs> Matthew chapter 14, verse 25, and it reads, And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And just reading through that, like you're kind of in a hurry, you're trying to get through the chapter, that doesn't really stand out that much. But the question we had is, well, what does the fourth watch mean that that's when Jesus came? And we started diving into, well, what does the fourth watch mean? And we found out that the fourth watch in that time period is between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. So it's essentially it's the last watch when everything's kind of done. And then like literally the end of the night, that's when Jesus came to help these people. And then we started researching it even more and started finding all these talks from apostles and prophets talking about how Jesus Christ, he is the God of the fourth watch, where that is usually when he comes in and all his glory and, and all his help is at that fourth watch. And it was like, well, why is that? Like, what is the lesson there? And it was like thinking through my own life is like the times where I felt so discouraged, if it just came, got that help right away, you wouldn't learn anything. And I, I have a two-year-old son. I'm, I'm seeing this firsthand with my two-year-old son. And it was like, if I just gave him instantly what he wanted, he's not going to grow. But if I see him really trying something for a long time, then, okay, he's done everything he can. I'm going to step in now and help him with that. So from God's perspective, it's like, I'm doing everything I can. And then that's when Jesus Christ is going to come in on the fourth watch. And like seeing it here as like, wow, that, that really is true. It's like knowing that like you feel discouraged, that's okay. It's all part of the growing process. Obviously, it's much harder when you're like in the water <laughs> drowning, but he's always there and he's going to help, especially when you need it the most. Yeah. I know in my life, I would much prefer him come in the first watch. <laughs> uh, absolutely, I would. But that's why enduring to the end is important. That's why we don't walk away the first sign when things get, get difficult, right? We've got to hang in there because he sees the eternal perspective. Mm -hmm.